Before winter kicks into four wheel drive, we want to show you how to prepare your car to take on the roads. Seven and four's Alyssa Heron joins us live at Good News Automotive's in Traverse City to share some helpful tips. Hey Alyssa, good morning. Good morning, Brendan and Melissa. I'm here with owner Mike Cook. Thanks for joining us, Mike. You know, first of all, this is the time of year that people need to start bringing in their cars and getting them prepped for winter. What is one of the most important things that people need to start checking out? Probably to start with is the battery. To get a good load test on a battery, make sure the connections are all cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, cold weather starting is really a good test or a hard test on your battery, so you want to make sure you're ready before that first real cold snap in the morning. All right, and then next we're going to move over here. You got you always want to check the. Check. Check the antifreeze, make sure that your coverage is good, um, look for the, uh, how, how cold it'll hold up, make sure that it's good and clean, that, it's, that the system is full. Uh, look at the belts and hoses, just kind of a good general checkup of the vehicle. All right, great. And here you pulled out some examples of windshield wipers. Yep. Now, I never knew this before, but <laughs> okay, so this is a, an example of what? This is basically a summer wiper blade. Uh, works good in the summertime. The disadvantage in the wintertime is all of these openings will load up with ice and snow. Uh, so what they do is they make a winter blade, which is basically the same thing. It just has a rubber boot over it, keeps it from loading up, keeps it from getting collected all up with ice and snow. A little softer rubber, a little more pliable in the cold weather. And you know, roughly how much do these cost? You know, they're going to run 12 to $20, depending on the size of the wiper blade that you have. All right, great. You know, let's walk over here and take a look at these tires that you set out for us. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. These are a, a true winter tire. Um, the difference between a true winter tire and an all-season tire is the compound of the tire itself is a little softer. It'll stay more pliable in the cold weather. You have a lot of these little cuts are called siping. You have a lot more siping in them, gives you a lot more traction area um, and a lot more blocking in there to dig into the deep snow. Um, they just hold better. Uh, these really hold up or do the best on the really icy roads. That's when you really feel the big difference between an all-season and a winter tire. Okay, and you can't, I don't know if you said this, but you can't have these no. on your car year round, correct? No, you cannot run these year round. The compound is too soft. Summer driving will chew these things right up. So you do end up with two sets of tires on your vehicle. All right. And you know, gas, when you fill your car with gas in the winter, you know, you don't want to run low on that, right? It's best to keep your tank full for several reasons. One is condensation. You're going to collect a lot more condensation if there's a lot of air inside the tank. The other side of that is if something does happen, you end up in a ditch out in the middle of nowhere, you've got plenty of gas to keep your vehicle going until help arrives. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Coming up at 630, we're going to show you some things you want to keep in your car in case any emergency happens this winter. But for now, reporting live in Traverse City, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. 7 and 4's Alyssa Heron joins us live this morning at Good News Automotives in Traverse City to share some helpful tips. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brendan and Melissa. I'm back with owner Mike Cook. Thanks for joining us. And we are talking about how to prep your car for this winter. Mm -hmm. So let's get right into it. Now, if your car were to get stuck this winter in the snow somewhere, what are some emergency items that you would want to have in the back of your car? Well, it's a good idea to keep like a blanket in there, uh, keep a flashlight, a shovel that you can kind of help keep it or dig it out with, uh, an emergency kit or a first aid kit. So uh, in case something does happen. Uh, jumper cables if you didn't get your battery tested before the cold weather hit. Uh, a bag of kitty litter, oil dry, something like that for traction if you're stuck. Uh, so they say put a candle in there so if you end up spending the night in there you've got a source of heat. Uh, just, just a basic emergency kit. All right, good to know. Now we have two examples of some blades right here. Let's grab uh -huh. these and I want you to talk about what's the difference. Okay, well the difference between a summer and a winter blade is a summer blade is all open and can collect up with ice and snow. The winter blade, they just put a boot over the top of it to keep it from clogging up. Uh, it's also a little softer compound rubber so it stays more pliable, sticks to the windshield better during the winter time when it's cold. All right, great. And are there some products that you can put on your windows or anything like that to help these blades um, work properly? Yeah, uh, they make a product that you can apply to the glass. It keeps the ice from adhering to the windshield. Uh, it's kind of like waxing your windshield, just like you put wax on the paint of your car. You can put this on the windshield to keep stuff from sticking to it. It helps the blades keep the windshield clearer when it's snowing, raining, all of that. Okay, and how often would you have to apply that throughout the wintertime? Uh, you want to do it before it gets real cold because it works better putting it on when it's warm, but probably every six weeks or so you'd want to reapply it just to keep it fresh. 
All right, let's walk over here to this tire that you have sitting out. Now, how is this different than tires that we, some of us may have on our car right now? Well, the difference between an all-season tire and a winter tire, there's a couple of them. The compound of the rubber is a softer compound, keeps it pliable when it's real cold out, has more of what they call siping, these little cuts that are built into the tread, gives you more surface area for traction. Uh, they stay pliable when it's real cold, so when those roads, those days when you could put your ice skates on and go to work, helps these things grip that ice a lot better than a standard tire will. Okay, and really quick, you know, what are some other things that people um, want to get their car uh, checked out for this winter? Just some winter preps, like maybe in the front under the hood. Uh, just make sure you're up on your maintenance. You're not way overdue for a tune-up. Um, a bottle of dry gas in the tank this time of year is a good idea. Maybe a bottle of injector cleaner, uh, things like that. But just make sure you're staying up on the basic maintenance on your vehicle. Get it checked out so that you don't end up stuck that first cold morning. All right, well, thanks for joining us this morning. All of these tips and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Traverse City, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News.